So concerning the cognitive acceptance and the emotional distance, we also did a study where we wanted to know from people how they would describe a, a real German or what was important to them in order to be German. We wanted to know about their criteria. And what we could see is that nearly 100% said it is important to speak German and nearly 80% would say to have the German citizenship makes you a German or is important to become German or to be German. And this is quite a modern idea of citizenship and citizenship laws in Germany were only re reformed in 2001. So it's not so far away, but people have understood about this model and they have understood that being German is something that can be achieved and is not only something that must be inherited. So the cognitive level has understood this change, but then we went further on and asked people more to deliver about this idea of being German and we could see that 40% would say, well, it's not enough to speak German, you have to speak German without an accent. So this is the moment where you can see that there is still a difference between being German and being real German. And this is something what Marine Le Pen in France is, is very much putting her ideas on, that you can become French, but you're never real French. And in the UK, we have the, this idea of, well, you can be British, but you can never be English. So this idea of a mismatch and divide in society, which in the end, accepts diversity as a cognitive fact and as an empirical given, but emotionally still puts positions of people in society concerning acceptance and belonging is something that we can see also in our empirical data. For example, nearly 40% of the people said, if you wear a headscarf, you cannot become German. So there, this person can have a German passport, can have a, um, no accent, speak German perfectly, but by wearing the headscarf, automatically she's opted out of this collective idea of belonging and out of the national narrative. There is where you can see this mismatch of cognitive acceptance and emotional distance.